They don't go for the Benedetta or the Paquito, though. They go for the CC instead. And I agree. I see your face. It's kind of like a, oh, interesting pick. I agree with you. Usually the CC, you want to go up against, you know, the, the frontliners, the guys who can actually, you can actually punish hard. Yep. But there's a lot of damage dealers, a lot of mobile targets here on the side of Evo. So... Uh, I definitely agree. The CC pick definitely is a bit interesting. Yeah, that's my in initial reaction. And now the wow. employee is there and the Tigreal, as expected. Um, there is no legitimate CC killer for EVOS unless we come to the late game. Uh, CC picks up the Vengeance naturally, so that's great versus the Claude. And you'll see later, Link is going to struggle versus the CC. But what Link can do is just to go to the back lines. Yep. So you're going to be looking for the last pick uh, for RQ with this lineup, I think uh, Benedetta is... Oh, they still yeah. don't have a mage. No, the, the, they need a mage. Yeah, Vixan. Uh, I mean, Farmies is good Novaria, enough. Novaria, perhaps? Hmm. I'm not sure about Novaria, you know, up against the Link. Yeah. Be very yeah. Very to play. Or Farmies. Uh, they okay. still go for the Farmies, even though there's there's a lot of reasons why the Farmies wouldn't work here. But again, I respect that they still go for it because it is an amazing hero. Speaking of amazing hero, you know, I have friends, and they are amazing casters. Oh, you do? I do. I want to hear the, your, their, their voices. So, amazing friends. Please. Oh, I think LaFell said, maybe Vixana. Was it Mirko who said, maybe Vixana? Because that's how far Faramus has fallen, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I personally think that Faramus is still pretty relevant in this meta as of right now, right? But there are certain conditions that need to be met. But against a lineup of Evo's Glory, where everybody has some form of an AOE, a disgusting amount of initiation, it can get really brutal really fast. They got a good amount of comfort picks. Again, Brands, uh, the king of the marksmen, picking up his signature Claude, who's able to defend for days. One of the few reasons why they went as deep as they did in the last MPL ID playoffs. Of course, you have Annabelle on his lane. Petra, Petra, man, as good as the Carl Easy Ling was in the prior match, mm -hmm. this is also a thing of beauty. Honestly, I would have liked to see him have uh, played the uh, Hayabusa instead because I've seen him play Hayabusa before, and when he gets like that one kill, he's he, this team makes magic happen. Somehow they get that one and they turn it into two, and now Gusta Lugusta has to deal with a full level oh. for Annabelle. He makes it out, but he doesn't want to commit the ult just yet. Something else to note: you're looking at RQ Akira's lineup. There have been word in the grapevine that maybe Louise isn't playing. Maybe it's Blink, mm -hmm. their ever-loyal sixth man. But no, no, no. Here he still is, the Brazilian heartbreaker back on the world stage, playing on that Grok. And he's just holding down the fort, man. Usually when you're a Grok, you're hyperactive when you're rotating, when you're mm -hmm. checking in on the opponent's jungle. Here is just, yeah. I'll wait for you, Saigen. I'll wait for you to get your wave back in. Hey, Dreams, how you doing? Oh, Dreams is having the time of his life, right? Just fighting against the Grok to try and hit level 4, but worse yet, Clawclit ends up missing a good amount of EXP, doesn't hit level 4, but we look at the top side, right? Annabelle, he's able to steal whatever camps that he wants because there's such a strong freeze on the top side of the map, but now Sagan, oh! oh no, he walked into the wall, pops down the Nether Realm to keep himself alive. That is unfortunate. Now, Louise spots Annabelle. Let's go. I was just about to say, what was that, Gideon? What was that, what was that fumble? Did he miss out on the Shadow Stampede? Hence why he had the Netherrealm himself into surviving? I mean, he might have fat-fingered the Purify into the wall. Butterfingers. <laughs> Butterfingers. Hey, look, I mean, I'd be nervous on my very, well, technically not even their first match, essentially, in terms of experience, but on an international stage like that, and especially playing on the Amazon stage, it's a little daunting. It's huge. Yeah. You feel like a little speck in this amazing stage that is the possibly biggest we've ever had in the history of our eSport. Down bottom, check it out. Takash, Astro Thunder, pushing away a Fluffy. I like that lineup, actually. I, I like that matchup. As the CC, I'm pretty confident. Look at this, a rotation, the diversion. Oh. By Dreams and Klaukun, hey. blasting Gusta Lagusta. Minute zero, he hasn't had anything man he's, he's he's struggling he he may be struggling but in terms of gold right he's not too far away the only boy oh, oh. the wall tracks from louise and he's pushed out of position he's, he quickly flickers out of there and now with the power of nature he should be all right but brands he just uses bmi manages to go back in position great positioning from dream just covering the battle mirror image the reason why they call him the indonesian nightmare mm -hmm. always putting up where they need him interestingly that was a good trade of uh, Ults. Battle spells, though, I think that's where Evo's Glory won out. This is uncharacteristic of these two teams, Gideon. Because look, 
Four minutes in, second turtle almost up. No kills from Evo's Glory, who loves fighting, and from Araki Okira, who loves the snowball. Mm -hmm. Neither of them able to find a grip. Uh, well, I, I do think, you know, this is very much in the place of our Kiwakira. However, I will say for Evo's Glory, this is, uh, you know, rather interesting. Usually they play around heavily around brands. This time around, people are able to express themselves. Like, look oh at this, no. Luis! He's getting surrounded by all the members, forced to wild charge out of there as King and Gusta Lugusta are trying to claim back the space. And now Evo's Glory is like, it's totally fine. You can sit on top of the turtle first if you want. And they're delaying this take. So far, I'm not so sure if that's to their benefit or if Annabelle is just saying, you know what, take your time, guys. I'm still on my purple. Mm -hmm. I think it's most beneficial for Brads because he can walk down to the mid lane, pick up some gold, go back to the top lane and lose basically nothing in his lane. And they can just chill out, right? Evo's Glory, as much as they want to play around Brands, they know that he needs resources and they'll create some space to get him those resources. And as you just read, it's definitely for Evo's Glory. Now all five just wailing away at the turtle. Another one secured here, uh, but this time going over to Evo's Glory. So they're one turtle apiece still on that pacifist run, Gideon. No kills for either side. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, oh, no. oh, whoa, that That's was gosh. That was very dangerous. And now in the mid lane, hopefully, okay, it breaks down. As you were saying, Takash has yet to leave his lane, man. I mean, he's, I would say he is a little slow on the rotation, but then again... He doesn't have to! He, I mean, the problem is, is that he, he hardly... It's difficult for him to push waves, man. It's Terizla! It's Terizla, man! He can't out-push that guy. But he's winning! Look at that turret! Mm -hmm. I mean, that's only because they made that initial rotation, right? Like, while everybody was at Turtle, we see this fight down on the bottom side of the map where Takashi chunks out Annabelle. As mentioned during the battle. Oh, wait, Louise! Great Purify coming in from Kaku, but Dreams will still die. The implosion does buy a little bit of time, but Brands, he can only do so much. Oh. A lot of AoE. Great splash from this. Wait, the TP. Louise spots it out. Kaku! He whips! He throws it the wrong way, and Fluffy's here in the middle of it. He's trying his best as the Netherrealm pops, and now he's only just begging to survive. Please oh. let me go! 1 HP! Body of Smith once again saves his life. An absolute unit thick with 14 C's at this early on what's he building it's a war axe mm -hmm. and a warrior but what I mean that's what we've been hearing from the panelists war axe Terizla they just go hand in hand now you get all the benefits of the spell vamp on top of the war axe passive and now Takashi is gonna crack open tier one bot side Astro Thunder just keeping up the pressure he is doing work man and because of that they're about a thousand gold ahead here. Mm. That's amazing. Uh, I, I don't know if Araki Okira knows that right now is the best time to strike. As soon as they hit the eight minute mark, oh, Luis holding out for it. All right. As soon as they hit the eight to nine minute mark, that's when they should really bear down on Evo's glory. Because if you all watched any MPLID playoffs, they're capable oh. of coming back. Oh, oh. no! No, the timing! It's so bad! Gusta Lugusta just walked into the brush. He didn't know that the diversion was gonna happen there. But King does secure the turtle in the meantime. And that's the final turtle of the game. Dreams, he's caught out of position. Pulled back Dreams. even by Sagan with a combo. Wait, hold on. The implosion to turn things around. And now Fluffy with a penalty zone. The yin yang reactions just won't stop. The Nether Realm keeps them alive. But it doesn't mean that they get to walk away. Claw Kun finds another kill. Whoa, amazing, the turnaround by Dreams. When you thought he was the prey, he turned into a predator and just, with a flick of a wrist, took down two members from Archeo. Man, because of that, the conversion is through the roof. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Now, it's them up by about 500 gold. I mean, they've equalized. They've equalized the economy between the two. And just to add on, Dreams, honestly, he's being that nightmare you were talking about. He's the guy that you close your eyes, you open. Oh, wait, what's that in the corner of my room? And it's him. He's sitting in the corner, just standing there menacingly. Just waiting to hit you with an implosion. <laughs> and next thing you know, you're three men down and you're about to lose a lord. Which, by the way, is about a minute away from now what's the items looking dude i am afraid 
of how Evo's Glory aren't really bearing down on Tekash. Like, they better watch out for Astro Thunder because all of the space that they're giving him might bite him in the butt later on, especially if you find Tekash and Sagan in the same spot. Like, we haven't really seen that yet. Yeah, we haven't seen them just yet. And I think, you know, once we've on... I mean, the map is a little unlocked for now, and maybe Takashi is going to be able to get into the middle of those fights, but let's talk about the lead because as much as they equalize, Annabelle is significantly ahead of King. Similarly to how Takashi is significantly ahead of Fluffy. And I think that's fine because, oh wait, we'll talk about it later. Fluffy's in trouble! He can't get out of this one. The poor man just has to close his eyes and just let it happen. They folded that boy in half. I mean, <laughs> body of Smith withstanding, it doesn't matter. You can't do that against five angry Brazilians. I mean, I think he just doesn't want to lose out on that flicker, to be on, perfectly honest. I think that Evo's Glory can really drag out this particular fight because they're depending heavily on Louise to find the engage. Yes, they can. Uh, and now it's all about the lane control. Conceal here by Dreams. Can they force something? They let go. Let the Wanderer scored by RQ Akira. The Lord, very low! He's going to try to step steal. Annabelle gets it. The Nether Realm keeps them alive. And that just means ah! that Dreams sacrifices his life for higher. As Clawcoon cannot get out of the situation. Ah. This is about to get really bad. As now the Flicker and the Wild Charge comes through, not enough follow-up damage. Our RQ Akira back off. They're happy with just two. And I think it was Glory just really thread the needle there, stealing away the Lord from RQ Akira. I think both teams just walk away saying, whew! Yeah. It's, uh, well, I mean, it's a little stressful, I'm not gonna lie. And it looks like it's gonna be the Queen's Wings purchase for the side of Fluffy. He wants to engage and he wants to maintain his kill threat. He wants to keep going, man. He wants to keep going. And I think it's that pressure. It's an all in engage from Evo's Glory with RQ Kira. Don't mind if the fight goes longer, which is interesting. It's a switch up. Mm -hmm. It's a switch up between uh, the dynamic because earlier on, uh, it was Evo's Glory who wanted to go longer. But now RQ here are hoping, hey, can we slow down a bit? Can we can we let this Lord simmer? Cause we're better like that. Yeah, let's just let's let's just let it cook in the slow pot for in the hot pot just for a little bit longer at this point in time. I think that RQ Akira, once we get into the mid game, like Sagan is gonna be a legitimate threat in these fights, considering that Evos Glory kinda wanna like engage at the same time. So here we go. Mid tier one now under threat. King, he's able to tank the damage for now, and it looks like it's enough to deter the rest of Evos Glory. Hold up, get in. I I I just noticed. Annabel rocking the war cry just now picked up the BOD. Mm -hmm. Not a single kill just here. What's going on? He's been power farming, right? And to be fair, he is significantly ahead of King. Last we checked, he was 1k ahead. Here comes no! the watch. Oh, it actually connects. He's trying to get on out of there, Brads. He cannot keep on attacking Takashi. And now with the Nether Realm, all of it being broken at the same time. Sagan is still alive, looking for the opportunity to get back onto it. But Annabelle is able to take out King and Gusta Lagusta in one fell swoop. Not close enough, it seems. Brands was so expensive. It took all of RQ Akira and Tekash just putting a beat on him. Maybe five seconds of pure yo-yo action. Look at this. We'll see it in the replay once more. Look at the back line. Mm -hmm. That's where my eyes were all this time. The huge collapse. There really wasn't much. Again, very ult-reliant, very all-in explosion from Evo's Glory. RQ Akira, maybe, maybe go one more time. That should change the tone. I, I would imagine that it would. Oh my goodness, it looks like a majority of this leap from Evo's Glory actually is from this Ling. Yep, check it out. So far, again, I think they're in the, they're in the right spot. They're, they, they're, they are where they need to be. Again, mm -hmm. I mentioned this like two or three hours ago. As a utility jungler, your items are just naturally cheaper. Yeah. So, King doesn't mind. He is, he's a king that sits on a paper throne, but it's a throne nonetheless. Hey man, that paper mache is slowly getting coated with gold eventually, right? Super low kill count game, considering the compositions we're seeing from both of these sides, right? It's, Four to six. It's pure macro. It's pure macro. Brazil and Indonesia have picked up on the amazing macro. I correct myself. Latam, that is the kingdom that RQ are carrying, man. Mm -hmm. Not just the country, but a whole region. <laughs> At least a dozen countries. <laughs> At least a dozen countries in there, all combined. Annabelle now completing the end, uh, the endless battle. Now going to have some true damage to really start applying the hurt onto people like Louise and even some of the squishier targets like Gusta Lagusta. At this point in time, how long can they actually hold this dance? Because it's getting low. It's getting real low. All right, that's a. Uh, Fifth left on oh. to the Lord, the conceal by the Indonesian Nightmare. 
Looking for an engage. Here he goes. He's gonna Very find close. it. Great timing. Steal from Animal. The implosion perfectly. Time is taken. Tries with the Nether Realm, but it's already too late. Uh, no, and it's gonna be the Blade of Tempest. Take it out, Sagan. Oh. With a back line, Brad. So expensive. Animal has to carry this. Has to secure these kills as Clawhood takes it. Doesn't mind. You can try and outplay Gusta. this. Gusta la Gusta at one HP. Will try his best. Finch points. He doesn't find him. He doesn't actually want to go. Because Takashi, the bodyguard, keeping him in check. Literally one HP. Gusta. You gotta try. No. He backs away. They let him live. They let him live to send the message. All right. Two for three. Plus the Lord going over to Evo's glory. Again, I'd say this is very, very scarily similar to the very first Lord. It is. It does look very scarily similar. I mean, I like now that RQ Akira, they're very together. Last time, it was kind of all over the place, but very now. Together. Yeah, they are. In, they target acquisition. Yeah. They all are going for the same targets each and every time. If they spread out their damage, I don't think they would have gotten the same results. That's right. So now they just have to be more together. Mm -hmm. They have to be <laughs> more one, more than just one. <laughs> they have to be a singularity. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna get to that point, right? A Latin think, American singularity. <laughs> the Latin American singularity. Because I they're like so, that. they're so good at it, right? It's true. And anyone from Gusta to Tekash uh, to Saigon could have hunted down Annabelle. Uh, is anybody gonna protect Fluffy here? Are they just gonna? Oh, Fluffy! He's, just, he's going with it, it, and now with the penalty zone, Nether Realm already comes out. They've already lost their temp HP. They gotta get on out of there. But now Annabelle in the middle of four. The conceal comes out. No! He two. It gave him one more. No, he's out. But now in the back line, Takashi as well. So close, but Brands, he survives this time. The big difference maker is here. Gideon, they did not heed our words. They were less than together there. They were pretty spread out. Again, a one more look. They were together where it mattered for Annabelle, and then they were spread apart, dispersed when they couldn't have afforded to Evo's glory divided and conquered, man. Yeah. And the 10. Say what you will about that scoreboard, but the map has turned blue. The Evo's fam are happy. Yep, and look at Annabelle. He's just tanking damage just for fun. He I knows can, that I can, can hear the, the theme purple. song now, man. I can hear the <laughs> Evo's fam theme song. Oh, boy. I mean, it, at this point, I think Still, RQ Akira, they still have an opportunity, but they need somebody that can force out that Blade of Tempest as early as possible and still take care of Brand. So, oh, oh hold on. Target the Indonesian Nightmare is on a roll. Did he force with a single? He, dude, okay, he, okay, to be fair, he flickered, he flickered and Implosion enforced such a response. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what you want, right? That's what we want to see from Evo's Glory. And hopefully they can keep on rinsing and repeating the process. Maybe if they can buy 100 seconds or so, but Lord already spawned. Okay, to be fair, 100 seconds is plenty of time in the world of MLBB. Look at the ults and the resources from Araki Okira as they make their way to the Lord, approaching half health. King rolling out like the Autobots. Oh, and he's trying his best. Where's the Nether Realm? It's going to be popped soon, but now coming back in with the Lycan Pass, they're holding it for as long as possible. They've already broken everything. They lost their temp HP so fast, and now Annabelle breaking apart the back line. Lycan Pass keeps him alive. Oh, great movement from Gusta La Gusta Whoa! as he takes out Annabelle. Brands, TP's into the back line with the help of Clockwood to find the trade. As beautiful as it could have been for Gusta La Gusta to clean the house, they forgot that the King of Marksman Brands is still here and he's the one who comes in claiming their heads and that just straight up opens up this Lord. Uh, Annabelle's 15 out give or take. Oh, the fact that King is down makes us all the more an Evos glory lord. Mm-hmm. Yep. Evos, again, they've done a really good job at securing these neutral objectives for a majority of this game. But worse yet, I think that RQ Akira are, try are banging their heads against the wall. It's like, what do we do against Annabelle? Like, he almost guarantees jumps in after the temp HP from Netherrealm and gets two. And that's why I think we get the answer to why do we not see Faramis. Prior to this matchup, Faramis only showed up three times across all stream A games. Mm -hmm. Three, you, we used to see percent of game. Gideon, this, That's is, true. this is a new age. It is a new age. 
it is a new age and it's more surprising that it only way. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's even more surprising that it only takes one person to cause that much destruction like clockland and the rest of the team decided we're gonna flank now here we go Lord already cracking down on towards that crystal. They're gonna take their time. Ooh, interesting angle for the wild charge here is Fluffy trying to get oh, what, oh. a penalty zone. Absolutely whipping. They're out of there. <laughs> That's an old for an old. A good trade if I were you. Listen up. Araki Akira can still defend. And I think, given their lineup, this is a good position for them. This is an okay position for them. I would rather be Araki Akira's comp than be Eva's Glory's comp stuck in their base. Also true, their high ground defense is very nice, but RQ Akira is eventually going to come to a point where they're going to have to walk out of that base, right? Yep, there, 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 there is a fresh amount of jungle for a take in, and it's out of their base that they can find these sneaky wild charges, which has been a while since we've seen Luis do something with that. Yeah, especially when Luis are topping the damage charts as well, right? That's why there are just so many conditions that need to be met. Hold on. Looks like the rest of RQ Akira are just going to squat up at this point. No point trying to split push. Yeah, I think they're just respecting the fact that there might be a huge diversion play from Claw Kuhn. Again, folks, you might be confused. Louise, Lu Yi. We will call them the player names for sure. Unless we're specifically talking about the kits, then that's when the heroes come up. So far, so good. Again, that's a fully built CC we're looking at. And then uh, just one more for Saigon to hit no. the threshold. It's about to happen, King. He King! notices, but he's able to take a good amount of damage. Whoa! Always fight two. And now they're starting to take the space. They're not giving them opportunity. Sakashi is already back line. Fluffy's trying to slow it up with the penalty. So Netherrealm finally comes out. And now France is dead. Sagan is going to keep on pushing. And here comes Animal. Their biggest problem with some nature is out for Gusta. Look, Gusta, Blade of Tempest comes out. Finds one in the <laughs> kill. And Sagan says, no, you don't have the Magic defense, get out of here! For the first time in, I'd say, five or six minutes, Araki will actually get a winning trade. Mm -hmm. They give up Gusta La Gusta for Fluffy and Brands. Thank you very much, or I guess, <laughs> gracias. Gracias. Oh, man. Honestly, these teams are, like, dead even. It's 14 to 14 or 20 minutes into the game, the longest one we've had so far. Obrigado, Portuguese. But you're right. It's amazing how both teams are playing on different axes, and they're still trading to the level that they are. Look, oh, my God. What a zoom in from our Amazon <laughs> Arena stage cam. 9-1 and 2. I almost forgot that we were looking at Annabelle. Well, it's like seven, eight minutes, zero, zero, and zero, and now he's a nine, one, and two. Dude, Annabelle's portrait is so funny. It's so it's funny. So it's like the difference between you and me is about three inches. <laughs> it's so Annabelle. It's so Annabelle. He's known as the jokester for Evos Glory. He was scouted by the Evos fam when he started playing at 14, and now he is, he's a ripe core. Check it out. They're starting up the Lord one more time. King trying to pull it out a little closer to their side of the map. Dreams spotted here by Louise. They trade blows. And so far, oh, this is this is why a Ling is so dangerous when he's in meta. Mm -hmm. He does more than just clean house. He cleans up the map. Almost with impunity, Gideon. He's able to go split from side, to, side lane to side lane. And the worst part is they also have the combination of Hawkwood and as well as Brands. Lowy just TPing the Claude up to the uh, top side of the map and right. the BMI back. Yep, the, just... the world's longest BMI. <laughs> it's, it's, it's dirty. Uh... It, it's almost broken. And now we're waiting for a fight to actually break out. Lord here approaching half health. That, that's that's one of the things you actually get with a Grok as well. With a, with a Guardian's Barrier, you're able to control and cordon off the Lord. Oh, the Shadow Stampede with a pull! Oh, he gets pulled tight on in. Takashi's doing some good damage, but does Fluffy end up... And, and well, he does end up using that Winter Crown to survive. I thought he might end up dying there, but... And a tranche. And uh, a crown, there you go. And a flicker, I'm rather, sorry. Mm. At the end of the day, right, nobody dies and we all reset. The biggest problem for RQ and Kira is the fact that they're missing two inhibitors. Emos Glory are like, hey! off we'll just let the game do its own thing because they are in control of the map they did penetrate top and bottom so that's our here with permanent damage that they constantly have to deal with it's actually the onus on them mm -hmm. to maintain and manage their waves lord here now at two-thirds of its health clock and branch is wailing away at it king with a slight pull and yeah, this is where you can really feel Arakyo Gear with the pressure on the map. Like they're not able to make many moves. Mm -hmm. They're just 
finger on the trigger. Just waiting, just waiting. Come on, show yourself. Yeah, they show constantly yourself. have to put up a bishop or a knight next to their king. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally speaking, <laughs> so that they don't get checkmate. Here we go, Brands and Annabelle opting to try and, you know, beat Takashi down. This does prompt a response from RQ Akira to take them a little bit of control, but they notice that a majority of the EVOS members are still holding the mid lane just to ensure that they don't get flanked. All right, Little Wonder, this is going to be very important for RQ to get a score. At least they have passive vision. Tekash now! Wait, Gustavo Gusta is in the middle of that fight as well. Blade of Tempest is out. Does he have the Finch Poise? It looks like he does. Takashi is going to start running down Brands, but here comes Gustavo Gusta. <laughs> Tries to go on in, but Brands outplays him. Like and pounce. <laughs> Winter Crown into this fool. Okay, so this is what's painful about that last engage could have been amazing for RQ Okira mm -hmm. but it's relatively low stakes for EVOS Glory because again they're more mobile on the map so now RQ Okira have to actually walk their way march their way into the pit now Lord at less than half health yeah Fluffy's in some trouble here Winter Crown once again already activated Ooh, great welcoming for Luis but still great to escape Netherrealm is already out and this might be the moment they've been waiting for Gustavo Gusta is chucked low and Annabelle is gonna look Winter oh Whoa! read the nature pops he still goes down Hawkhorn is able to splash the damage into the back line, Gusta and King are down. One minute death timers, and Evo's glory. They've already got this Luminous Lord empowered, in a matter of fact. Annabelle just chasing them down. Takash by in time, but there are just some things that another realm can't solve. Takash, Louise, Saigon, they have to defend for their lives. Guardians Barrier up, just delaying the inevitable. Oh, the splash damage, Claw could. Claw could stop it, man. He's just harassing all of them. Penalty zone as well, shoving him even further out of the crystal. That's gonna be GG, Evos Glory in a tight game against RRQ Akira. Take game one. Just under 25 minutes in true Evos Glory fashion. They took the scenic route put on a show for the EVOS fam and everyone watching all around the world to take the first game.